later in the letter and I sent that document in the WhatsApp group. All right. So remember the SBA is about election. Election is like the election that we just had in the US um, with, with um, Trump and Biden the other day and how we had elections out here in Jamaica with Andrew Holness and hold on, two more persons coming in. Right. And how we had our elections the other day out here in Jamaica. So that's this this is the election. So you have to think election mode. All right. So the information says the result of the national election must be delivered to the candidate. So we are imagining that the election was over, just like our election was over the other day. And we had um, Andrew winning. So those were those were the results. And they said that you must deliver it to the candidates. Who are the candidates? The candidates are the persons who were running in each constituency. Remember, this is our sheet. And we had um, something called candidates. So these are the candidates. So these 28 persons, they want to send them the results. All right. So we are sending the letter, one letter, but we're sending that one letter to 28 persons. All right. Do we have any EDPM students in here? Yes, miss. Right. So. Chelsea, usually when you're sending, I don't know if you do this topic yet still, but usually when you're sending one document with the same um, information to different persons, even though you're sending this one document to different persons, you want the document to be personalized where the name and address is concerned. So even though we're sending the same body, the same paragraphs, where we have the address section, we want to we want to personalize that part. So if the letter is going to Daniel Daniel because we want to have Daniel Dakers and Daniel's own address. If it is going to Rajan Denos, we want to have Rajan's name and Rajan's personal address. So we want to have the letter going to specific persons, even though it is the same one. So we have a feature called mail merge that we are going to be using to send the same letter to different persons. We're not doing mail merge today. We're doing it on Monday, but I want you to bear in mind that this letter that we're creating is going to more than one person, all right? All the candidates. Create a document which should be mailed to the candidates and then they tell you the requirements for the letter. It must be, all right, we can leave out that, we can leave out the D. So I'm going to go now, all of this here, I have summarized it in the other document because the other document has these information plus instruction on how to do each part. All right, so everything here, I have put in another document. All right, so let's go to the, the other document now. So while I am here with this other document, we are going to be doing the letter together. So I need you to go to Microsoft Word. I know some person is not going to do anything, but I need you to go to Microsoft Word so we can create this letter together. All right, Kemar. Kemar. Kemar Lang. Miss. All right, so Kemar. You can start your recording now. Miss, we did start a long time. All right. Okay, all right, all the better. All right, so students, we are going to be creating document two, which is the letter in Microsoft Word. Step one says, open a Microsoft Word blank document, all right? So that's step one. So let me do it with you. So I'll be going back and forth. All right, so that's step one, I open a blank document. It should be coming up soon. All right, what does step two say? Step two says, insert. 
go to insert and header all right and then you choose center alignment which is this alignment this one here and then you're to type this data all right so i'm going to be copying mine to put in the document however after you type this information the, in, the information in red here you have to make up an address make up a telephone number make up an email address make up a website all right so remember we are going to go to the new document we're going to go to header choose center and put in this information all right so i go to insert then i select header click on blank that's the one at the top then you are in the header the header is above the regular page that you would type on all right so just go where you have click here delete the click here go to home select um, center alignment and then you're going to type your information so let me paste mine here when you paste it here make sure you take out the additional space below so where you see this cursor blinking just press delete and the extra space will be gone all right Please, so Ms. what's Ms. yes chelsea go ahead miss word art size 24. oh you're telling me what to do next all right so for this line here this is the first line this is highlighting the name of the company right remember your your sba was about election jambatrin election commission so we're going to, we can use word art to do the first line, or we can just change the font and size and make it attractive. So let me do that first. So if you want to use word art, word art not so fancy on my computer, and this is my word art insert. And this is my word art over here. You see it over here, this A? And those are the word art. So they're not so fancy. But if you want to use any of these, you see it make, make the text look different. You can use them. You have different ones. All right, so I, I am not going to be using those. If it was my long time computer like Windows um, Office 2003, the word arts are very beautiful, but they change it to these ugly ones. So you can use word art or you can, let me let in these persons. Or you can go, you can change the size to 24. That's what I gave you on the paper. You can go here and change your font. You have different fonts, all right? I'm choosing this one. You can change your color to a color of your liking, all right? Only the first line you're allowed to change. So these other lines here, don't change them. All right, so that's it for this, that one. For the address one now, make up an address, all right? So you can say to Oliver, Close. Save. All right, and then you change it to black. Because remember, it was in red because I wanted it to change it. All right, then we need to make up a telephone number. Let's make up a number. You can leave the tail. You can say eight seven six nine. Let's make up a number. Let's seven that. Eight, seven, six, nine, five, eight, so it need another number. All right, make up a telephone number. You can put a dash bit between it. Make up an email address. Now the email address has to do, or oh, it's prompting me to say, now the email address has to do with elections. This is about elections, right? So you can type email. Can anybody give me an email address that has to do with elections? Remember your, uh, my email address is malcolmjghs at gmail.com, right? 
if you're making up an address about jam bar trim election you could type something like what jam bar trim elecom elecom for election commission at at what students come on you don't know how to make up <laughs> gmail.com 